Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get an app onto your phone through Cydia Impactor. Now, the word Cydia, people think jailbreak. This, you can use for jailbreak, but it's not just for that. It's for everything. So what you're going to need is a computer, a cord, and a phone. So plug your phone into your computer. It's going to, it may bring up iTunes, uh, quit iTunes, but... Before you quit, make sure you tap trust on your phone. So it's going to come up with, do you trust this computer? Tap trust. If it doesn't come up with any of this, you're okay. Just keep going on to the next step. So first step, tap trust. Second, you're going to go to type in on Google or wherever you would, Cydia Impactor. This is the website right here. That is it. So if you need to write that down or something, do that now. Right here, now, this is the website. It's very small. It doesn't have a lot. So you're going to type it. If you have a Mac, click right here. If you have Windows, click right here. If you have Linux, click right here. And Linux 64-bit, type click right here. So just click on one of those, whatever software program you have. Guys, you really, you really if you don't know that, <laughs> it's kind of sad. So you should definitely know what you have. All of them work. So once you do that, download it, open it, however you however your computer does that. It should look something similar to this. It may look different on Windows, but on a Mac, it looks like this. Open it up. You're going to see this. If your phone's plugged in and everything's right, it should have your name or something like this, and it should have code. If it's blank, like, if it just says blank, then you have an issue. Just keep this here. I know it says talks about Android. It's okay to be there. It does not matter. This this doesn't matter. You don't Just don't change that. Keep that there and make sure it has your phone. Don't click start either. Next up, you're going to get the app. So what I do, or where I get my apps from, is App Cake. I, I use this for everything. So this is App Cake. It has all these apps on it. So to get the app, just search on it or something like that. Search up. This will not give you virus, guys. I assure you that. I'm 100% sure. So I'm going to get an easy one. Let's just do spot if I... If you do not find the print, look at here we are, Spotify Premiere. If there is something that is not here, search on Google. Search on Spotify IPA because that's the file name, IPA. So for right here for Spotify Premium, you're just going to go right here. Just type in Spot, Spotify, sorry, I can't spell that. Spotify and then Premium and then IPA. Make sure it says IPA, not IPA. So now there's actually YouTube videos. People always watch this and that stuff. I just go here to, for the link. So I'm going to just pause that, go down. I, I'm going to, so here's the link. Oh, wait, hold on. Disregard those guys. Um, hold on, wait, that's actually not it. Um, don't go to that one. Um, hold on. Here we go. So I'm going to, yes, this is it. Okay. So you're gonna go here. I'm gonna um uh I will put this here's the here it is. That's the link. For it and then skip ad. And there. So if you need this one. From here you're gonna click on download. If it pops up another window, like another window, that's okay. Just close that and make sure it downloads. It's gonna download it. I already downloaded it, so it's just gonna download. It's gonna look something like this, or just should say dot IPA. Drag it to your desktop. All right. Now you're done with the web part. This app, just keep it here forever because or put in your folder, something like that. Because all it beats every seven days, you're gonna have to do this. Next step, this is the last, or the easiest step. Grab this, just drag it over. It won't have a plus. Just drag it over, just hover it over, let go. Type in your app ID, your app ID information. And it will give you it. Now, I signed up with too many, so let me just actually see if I can clear that. But once you're done with that, if you type in everything right, you should get no errors. Just hit enter, type in your password, hit enter, and then from there you're good. It will put that on your phone. Next, we're going to go to your phone. So on your phone, if you try to tap on the app, it's going to say something like untrusted developer. I don't think it will say it now. It, yeah, but if you try to tap on it, it's going to say untrusted developer. To fix this, go to settings. Wait for it to load. Come on. Come on. <clears throat> Go down general. Go down to devices profile and devices management. And you're going to see your Apple ID is going to be under developer app. Tap there and you're going to tap verify. So right where it says delete app, 
it'll say verify, tap there and tap verify. Let it verify and then go back and you should and tap on app and you'll be good. So that's really all. Let me actually see if I can delete some of these. 